Hello Pisces, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your weekly tarot reading from the 11th to the 17th of January 2021 for the sign of Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. So I hope you will Pisces and let's get straight into your reading. So let's pull your first Angel Answer card. What do we have for Pisces please? Angels, Spirits, Guides, message for our lovely Pisces. Thank you. Okay, so the message is be assertive. Assert yourself now, go for something. Okay. Message for Pisces, please, angel spirits, guides. What is the message that Pisces needs to hear? Thank you. And it will be 11th to the 17th of January 2021. What does Pisces need to hear the most, please? What does Pisces need to hear the most? Thank you. Okay, two cards fell out there, so let's go for this. Okay, so we have ask for help and I have love. I mean, that can be divine help. That could be, you know, people in your world, you know, asking for help. Could be to do with the love situation. Okay, so I'm going to pull four cards, Pisces. The first card is you, your current situation. The second card is your challenge. The third card, advice from spirit. And the fourth card is your outcome. And then we'll clarify the cards and go deeper into the message. And it won't resonate with everybody, so just take what resonates with you. Okay, so what do we have for our lovely Pisces, please? Angel spirits, guides. And it is 11th to the 17th of January 2021. Thank you. What is the message for Pisces? Thank you. That flew out. But it kind of went more reverse than upright. The Ten of Coins. The Empress is your challenge. The Star is advice from spirit. Very beautiful energy. And the Page of Cups is your outcome. Okay, so what do we have for Pisces, please? Angel Spirits Guides, message for Pisces. Can we clarify the cards on the table for Pisces? 11th to the 17th of January, 2021. Message for Pisces, thank you. One more shuffle. Can we clarify the cards on the table, please? Angel Spirits Guide for Pisces. Thank you. Okay. So we have the Lovers. Card of Gemini. The Empress is... We have the Sun. Beautiful energy. The Star energy. We have the Three of Cups. Very nice. And the Page of Cups. Pisces, we have the Eight of Cups, very nice indeed. Bottom of the deck, we have the Knight of Coins. Oh my goodness, I love this energy, it's beautiful. So, uh, Pisces, what I'm kind of getting here... I mean, the pentacles energy can be to do with money, career, finances. Let's clarify this ten of pentacles reversed. Um, it can be to do with our foundational relationships. I mean, it is a card of family or marriage or long-term committed relationships as well. Reversed, it talks about loss or difficulty, challenge. We have the Ace of Swords. I 
So yeah, the message from spirit here. Oh gosh, I've got the Knight of Coins again. <laughs> <laughs> two knight of coins i mean i love the knight of coins energy you know it's one of my favorite cards um you know the there has been and it feels in this situation there has been final it feels like there's been financial loss um that could be in an investment that could be in property that could be in your job, career, money situation, that could even be in your pension, retirement, planning, that kind of energy. But the Ace of Swords, it, it feels in this situation, the Ace of Swords, it feels like there's going to be some kind of breakthrough. Um, because, and this is the energy of be assertive, because now is the time to claim some kind of success, victory over whatever this loss was. I mean, yes, we have the lovers, you know, it could be in terms of love, romance, relationship, some kind of uh, loss, could even be some kind of breakup here, Pisces. It feels in this situation, it's slightly more money and career with the Knight of Pentacles appearing. The lovers can be to do with, it's kindred spirits, it's an energy of you know, two people who match each other perfectly. It feels like something has... I'm getting the energy of something financial. Some financial change has affected your money, career, Your has affected your relationship. Something in terms of money, career, finances. Because the Empress, when she's challenged, she is something about feeling bountifulness, having the bounty, having enough of everything, you know? And when she's in the challenge position, there is a feeling of lack. So, you know, that, you know, and I'm definitely getting this energy. I mean, this is, a, this is about having enough money, having enough love, having enough, you know, of, of everything in life. Um, and, for, and she does she does rule in terms of money and career. She also rules love. So take what resonates for you. But the message from, from the universe is with the sun, which is divine energy. Things are about to get so much better. I, I feel in this situation, you might have felt some lack here. It feels like there's been a challenge in not having enough because there's been changes in terms of your money, career, finances. But for some of you, there is some, going to be some victory, some breakthrough coming your way. Because that sun is, things are beginning to happen. The Empress essentially is, is a manifesting energy, the first signs of something being manifested. She can represent the birth of, of a new child or pregnancy. She can represent um, the birth of something new in terms of money, career, finances. She can also represent the birth of something new in terms of love, romance, relationships. So if there has been some kind of relationship breakup, and it would be a long-term relationship, a marriage or long-term partnership, um, there's a kind of message here, the challenge is to start over, to overcome the obstacle and to, to move forward. But it also feels, I could read this in terms of money, career, finances, which is what I'm leaning towards, because it, it feels that some of you have had a change in your financial circumstances and it's affected your relationship. You're feeling the lack. And the message with the sun is, this is the sun is good news, celebration, joy, happy times ahead. So I really like the energy for that reason. It's beautiful energy. Because for some of you, you're being told by the universe there's hope. And I love this because it's the divine wish fulfillment card as well. Receiving blessings from the universe, hope. Um, the path that you've set out on what you'll be asserting yourself towards there's definitely an energy here that you are on the right path. So I, it's a beautiful energy because there is some kind of celebration, joy, happiness, three of cups coming your way. And it feels in this situation, I mean, the Eight of, of Cups, and I like it with the Page of Cups, because the Eight of Cups is one away from the Nine of Cups, which is the Wish Fulfillment card. 
in essence the eight of cups yes it can mean it can mean walking away but it's also a card of disappointment uh, moving on from something that has disappointed you that could be in terms of love romance relationships this could also be in terms of money career you know having been disappointed in terms of money and career the message with the page of cups is you're going to find that ninth cup the one that is going to bring your hope dream and wish to reality something that you really want um, some kind of message that brings you joy now this could be an offer of love you know this could be new love this could be a renewal of love um, so it, it could be that in that situation Pisces but I kind of feel with the Knight of Coins, which is somebody's going to make you an offer. It could be in association with this Page of Cups. Like I said, it could be in terms of love. But I'm kind of feeling that the, the Knight of Coins is um, quite a commercial energy. It's as a result of hard work, determination and patience that we get the Knight of Coins. The long-awaited opportunity offer coming your way. That could be in the form of job offers, contracts. Um, some abundance coming your way, money coming your way as well. It, it feels like this is getting you back on track and it feels it's getting you back on track financially. But you know, like I said, I mean, as I said, it's a general reading, take it as you will. I do try to give a rounded reading as much as possible, Pisces, but the Knight of Coins is appearing twice. So there's definitely an energy of someone's going to make you some kind of offer. And it's an offer that's going to bring you joy because ultimately the, the, the Cups energy, the Page of Cups in particular, is something that is uplifting, something that is the beginnings of something new, the beginnings of change. And I definitely feel for some of you, now is the time to be assertive because it feels in this situation that the Knights are bringing positive change your way. Either in the, I mean, sometimes, you know, if you're healing from the past, this can also be about getting back on track, healing from what's gone. But I'm definitely feeling for some of you, there is some kind of offer opportunity coming your way. So two Knights of Coins is very, very nice. And for me, Germany can represent money, career, finances. Because it's helping you get back on track financially. Find direction, finally. And the message from the star is, don't lose hope. Keep the faith. The celebration, the reason to celebrate is coming. So let's pull one more card and see what we have. Okay. So I've got the five of wands, which is a card of struggle. Eight of Swords. Let's get one more. Thank you. And there you are, Pisces, the Knight of Cups, which is you. So the Five of Wands is can be about conflict, negative thinking as well with the Eight of Swords. But it can also be about struggle, feeling that something is futile. Feeling that you're not getting anywhere, you're just going round and round in circles and you're caught in this bubble, you know, the, the bubble that you can't break. You know, it's that kind of energy. The Eight of Swords, I am completely powerless, trapped, things are never going to change. Well, there's definitely an energy of they are because, you know, you're appearing in your own reading, which means that you're reconnecting back to your own element. And the Knight of Cups is, is somebody who, who is led by their heart, led by their intuition. They go for what makes them happy, you know, and there's definitely an energy of, you've been feeling that something has been futile, maybe because things haven't been happening as quickly as you wanted them to but there's definitely an energy of there is some kind of offer opportunity coming your way which is going to bring some kind of reason to celebrate i mean you're getting your divine wish fulfillment here pisces because things are about to look up even though you're challenged in manifesting a new path and for some of you it could well be new jobs new business new career could even be new love for some of you there is definitely an energy here of 
you will get this offer. You will get this opportunity. Change is coming. Three nights. Three nights represents some significant change coming your way. And it feels for the better and it feels uplifting. The energies of these nights are uplifting energies. So, beautiful energy. Let me pull a final card. Final message for Pisces, please. Final message for Pisces. Yeah. It's the star energy again, hope. There is hope. Hope is always there even if we can't see it. Optimistic expectations can change a negative situation into a positive one. So don't lose faith because those cards that came out on the end are when we lose faith. You know, when we focus on the negative, we focus on the struggle, we feel trapped, we don't see a way forward in a situation. There's definitely hope and in the form of some kind of long-awaited opportunity coming your way. So very nice energy indeed. I hope you enjoyed the reading Pisces. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a wonderful week for you all and I will see you next time. Thank you.